So we are now done with the first two examples on integration by parts. This is our example one, example two, and we are now on example three. Let's have example three that is to evaluate this time the integral of e to the x sine x dx sine x dx so we let you uh, for our solution we let you be equal to e to the x and our dv to be equal to sine x dx sine x dx means to say that our du is equal to e to the x dx and our v we try to integrate v here integrate dv we will have integral of sine is negative cosine so this is negative cosine x So that we will now have, therefore, therefore we have here integral of u dv, which is equal to uv minus integral of v du. That's the formula for integration by parts. Our u, u dv is e to the x sine x dx that's integral e to the x sine x dx equals u which is e to the x times v which is negative cosine x so you can write down the negative there in front cosine x minus integral of v again which is negative cosine x so because of the negative cosine x and we have a negative with u, you can replace this now by plus. Minus or minus is plus. So minus v cosine x, then du, v du. So our du is e to the x dx cosine x, e to the x dx. But let us write down e to the x here first. So e to the x, and you have your dx Notice that e to the x cosine x dx is similar to the one that is being asked earlier. So meaning to say we can apply again our IBP here. So we let this time make use of another. We can make use of still u, but it's just a u bar to be equal to e to the x. And our dv bar, we let that to be equal to dv bar to be equal to this time cosine x dx. Cosine x dx. That our du bar still that's equal to e to the x. And our v bar, that is when we try to integrate cosine. Remember, integral of sine is negative cosine. So the integral, therefore, of this time, your cosine is positive sine. So we have sine x. Yeah. So that this can now be rewritten as, okay, we have this integral of d to the x sine x dx equals still have your negative e to the x cosine x minus this sign integral of we have your plus e to the x cosine x dx so it's your plus e to the x cosine x dx plus okay if you apply here your integral of u dv okay integral of u dv that will now become negative e to the co times cosine x plus you have d of e to v you will have u times v u times v 
That's u times v minus integral of v du. Okay, v du. So u, u bar, and then your v bar, u bar, du bar. This is our u bar, d bar, d v bar. So u bar is e to the x sine x. Okay, v bar is sine x. Minus integral of v bar, which is sine x, but our du bar is e x. So we have your sine x there as your v bar. Du bar is e to the x. Our that is e to the x dx, right? So you should have e to the x dx there. Means to say that can be written as e. Uh, minus e to the x, cosine x. Notice that we have the same value here, this one. e to the x sine x, and we have e to the x sine x dx. But anyway, let's just write it at that one. And e to the x sine x dx. We can transpose it on the other side. So, 1 e to the x sine x dx plus this it becomes a plus. So, e, integral e to the x sine x dx. So, you'll have twice now of the integral of e to the x. Is integral. e to the x sine x dx equals now e to the x minus e to the x. Cosine x plus e to the x sine x. So we add it at both sides. But we only need this. It's a problem. So you divide both sides by 2 and come up now with integral of e to the x sine x dx equals 1 half this time, 1 half of the half. Now we can is that one, the positive one first, e to the x, sine x, minus e to the x, cosine x. And then you can have plus 2, plus 2. Plus 2, see, or divide by 2 so you can have plus a certain constant. So this is now our answer. We have e to the x sine x minus e to the x cosine x plus 